We're going to talk about the Humon Hex, the SML2 reader against the SPO2 reader, against altitude, and against wattage. How it all goes together. This is going to get pretty intense. Okay, so this is my training file that I've done. It's a very short session. It's about just under 40 minutes. Now, if you have a look, the red part here is from, the red line here is from my SRM. It's power from my SRM. We have the pink line. It is my heart rate. And now we have the bluish turpish turp. The light blue line is my cadence. I'm gonna add a new line here, and this new line is the SMO2 reader from the Human Hex. I just did a video about it. Please have a look. I don't wanna get into it now. This is just gonna be on the training, and we're gonna get into the oxygen concentration in your blood and also in your muscles during training. Now, put some red lines here some red arrows to show you the, the extra line I've added into the Limo software, just so we can compare it. Now I did, I did four different types of intervals. The first one was five seconds, hold your breath out. Normal breathing under hypoxia with 11.5% oxygen, and I did this about 10 times. So it's five seconds, hold your breath out, 25 seconds normal breathing, five seconds, hold your breath out, 25 seconds normal breathing, under 11.5% oxygen. You actually see the heart rate go up and down a little. And you see the SML2 reader, which is the human X, the green line, also go up and down a little. So it does have an effect of the oxygen concentration in your muscles. Now, the second interval, what I did, was 30 seconds hard, 30 seconds easy. The 30 seconds hard is between 475, I think, to 525 watts. Um, this was done without the hypoxy mask, so it was done with 20.9% oxygen. It, the green line you see is the SMO2 that we spoke about before, the oxygen concentration in the muscles, and you see that it actually goes down when I do an interval, obviously, because you need oxygen to break down energy. The third set was a three minute ramp. So I started at 300 watts, every 15 seconds a little incline. So it's about 12 to 15 watts on the indoor SRM bike. Now I did the whole session on an indoor SRM bike. I, I love this thing, it's, it's one of the best investments ever made. It's bulletproof and I've had it for, I don't know, 13, 15 years. Now I just went, I think I went to 575 watts or something and as the power goes up, you see the SMO2 reading graph goes down. So it shows the effects of the amount of oxygen concentration in your muscles compared to the amount of power output. Now the fourth session I did is pretty interesting because if you look at the power graph, it is dead flat. It's just under 190, maybe 200. So it's between 190 and 200. So it's constant. The power is very constant. Now what I did was I did 30 seconds under hypoxia. Well, actually the whole set was under hypoxia and it was which is 11.5% oxygen. I did 30 seconds of slow breathing. So it's For 30 seconds, 11.5% oxygen. This is really intensive, really intensive. Now, you see the SML2 reading really drop low. Now, this is interesting because what I want to see here is what I find out is a lot of guys go to altitude training camps. Some guys handle it really well, some guys don't handle it really well. And the reason is why. Why, why can some guys handle it well and some guys can't? And you can clearly see that my SMO2 reading at 190 watts, very easy, with little oxygen I'm breathing in can have the exact same amount of oxygen concentration in my muscles as me doing 500 to 550 watts. So it's something to think about when you're going to altitude training. And it makes me more think about the human hex. Is it a good device to use while training? I'm not, I'm not so convinced on it. I've done a lot of racing with it. I've done a lot of training with it. I'm just learning it with it at the moment. I'm not basing my training on it. I'm just reading data. but. Going to altitude, yeah, I think it. Um, I think it's. Uh, it could be a pretty important thing to have. Now, as you can see, I've had every device 
on top of the Sanas, Sanas, as a sponsor of our team, uh, Sanas Tower. So the yellow thing is the SpO2 reader. It measures your oxygen concentration in your blood. I have the PC8, which is your SRM. Uh, measure, this one was measuring my power, my cadence, my heart rate. I have the watch, which is connected to the human hex, which is measuring my SMO2, which is my oxygen saturation of my muscles. And the last one is my LEMO device. So I'm just measuring everything. It's just seeing, I like to, I like to measure and you'll see why it was actually pretty important I used in this, in this training.